Now we're going to do our final dish, which is a traditional Swedish dish with uh, beef Riedberg, but we're going to substitute uh, the ox fillet with uh, the lamb fillet that we took from our lamb earlier on. So we start off with diced potatoes, which I have done earlier, and then we fry them in butter and oil. Uh, one of the classic accompaniments is uh, buttered stewed white onion. We've got our lamb mince. We also have our Dijon flavored cream. So we've whipped our cream with Dijon, salt, pepper, lemon juice. And finally, the Swedish love their raw egg yolk. So we'll do that at the end. So we start with our smoking pans. Okay. So we add a little olive oil to our pan. Our potatoes. So you minced the potatoes when they were raw? Yeah, diced. Okay. And we also use a clarified butter. So clarified butter is like you separate the butter from the silk. So if you see the white at the bottom? Yes. And that helps uh, extend the burning point on the butter. So it doesn't burn as fast. And how do you make your own clarified butter? You just let it, leave it on the side and let nature take its course. Okay. So the butter in a hot area. And you don't want to stir it? No. So you just leave it. So we need a, another pan to heat our onions. So beef a la Riedberg is a complete Swedish classic. Yep. Yeah, sort of along the lines of beef a la Lindstrom. Yes. One of those things that on the 70s was on all the restaurant menu. And now is sort of seen as the traditional Swedish, Swedish food. Yep. Just keep your potatoes from burning. Continue to heat your onions. And because you're using lamb fillet, okay. it cooks very, very fast. So it'll take okay. maybe one minute. Okay. So make sure your onions and your potatoes are very hot. Everything else has to be ready. Yeah, before okay. you cook your lamb fillet. Okay. So now our potatoes are nearly there. Maybe we should taste. Just butter and potatoes and a little bit of salt. Yep. That's it. This looks super hot. It's amazing the potatoes can be so good. <laughs> Just little cubes in butter and salt and that's it. And yeah, it is. And if you want to taste our oh, butter fried onion. And now we begin to heat up our, uh, our pan. But you said that you, you boiled the onions yeah, first? Yeah, in butter. Just slowly cooked More butter. Uh, with a, a lid on top. So maybe mm. one deciliter of water to maybe 200 grams of butter. Okay. Uh, slowly cooked, maybe in your oh, your electric stove top at one degree. Okay. Put some thyme, some bay leaf, salt, pepper. And just slowly cook it. Keep an eye that you you don't burn it. So oil again in a hot pan. Always heat your pan before you add oil. Yeah. Okay. It heats heats faster. And it's okay if it's smoking. That's yeah, a that's good, thing. good sign. Make sure your fan is on. Now put in your lamb fillet that we did earlier on. So just try and color on all sides. Nice golden brown color. And there was just olive oil? Yeah, just olive oil. Could you use wrapped oil or something yeah, else? Or? Absolutely. Okay. So yeah. I'm doing here is I'm checking the cooking okay. with my fingers. Yes. We use our thumb. Okay. This is well done. You think there's okay. quite there's no uh, actual mm. give. Right. This here would be medium. Okay. There's quite a little give in it. Okay. And it's up here okay. is very spongy. So that's rare. So that's how we we do it in a in a kitchen if we don't use uh, like temperatures. Because if you cut into it, then the juice has escaped. Yeah. It's so ideal. we'll get our plate. And the just towel, because you're going to drain off the To drain off the excess oil. oil. So the customer doesn't get a plate of oil. Do you need to pat it too? Or yeah. can it just, okay. Just a little bit. And you do your same with the potatoes. So you want to drain the potatoes too? Yeah. 
a customer can't. doesn't get. You can't get too much of a good thing in no, the butter. No, you can't. <laughs> Are we patting this one too? Yes, please. Okay. And this is something that should be served quite hot. Yeah, so it's like you do it at the last minute. Okay. And you kind of, you serve it straight away. Okay. And you used Dijon mustard Dijon mustard, yeah. Can you use other kinds of mustard You could use well? like uh, the uh, scone mustard, okay. depending on personal taste. So if you want to do the egg this time, <gasps> okay. if you remember, if you just wait till I put... Okay, I won't put it on until you're ready. I'll Thank practice. You. Is it supposed to have sort of little nice edges on yep. it? Yeah, if you heat the spoon. And this was just cream and Dijon mustard, that's it? And a little salt and pepper. So. Oh yeah, that made a big difference. I don't think it's going to look quite as professional as yours, but... Of course it will. Are you ready? Nearly. Okay. Oi. I won't rush you. <sighs> so lamb. I don't know if my quenelle is going to make it. Do you the want cut. to put your quenelle there? Here? Yep. Just one? Mm. Perfect. So, an, an idea sometimes is to serve the egg on the side. Okay. Because if you serve a raw egg to an Irish person, we, uh, we mightn't like it. Uh, raw eggs are much more common in Swedish cuisine, I yep. think. So just get a little glass. Aha. And like so. Perfect. And so then. A little salt. Are you to put then the egg on the top and mix yeah. it all in? It's up to the yeah, individual. Like and then we have a little lamb stock that we did. A little bit on the on the meat. Oh, that looks fantastic. A little bit of. A bit of color. Can, yep. Chopped parsley or, or flat parsley. Okay. Now, Maya, I think you deserve with all your help to oh, taste it. Thank you. So I'm to take a little bit of everything? Yes. A little bit of egg, too? If you want. Yeah. There's no pressure. Why not? It's a Swedish egg from the controlled supermarket environment. I have to get a little more of this. Mmm. It was really good. Oh, now you tried the egg too. Mm. It's good with the egg. I like it. It is good. Nice job. Thank you.